Well, hey, greetings, my good people. It's your good old boy, O'Keefe. I'd like to wish everyone a heartfelt happy Father's Day. This little song here is called Daddy's Hands, and it goes out to my dear grandpa, Paul. It's my mother's father, and this song's actually for you, Mama. Daddy's Hands. I remember Daddy's hands folded silently in prayer and reaching out to hold me when I had a nightmare. You could read quite a story in the calluses and lines. Years of work and worry had left their mark behind. I remember Daddy's hands, how they held my mama tight. And patted in my back for something done right. There are things I've forgotten that I loved about that man, but I always remember the love in Daddy's hands. Daddy's hands, they were soft and kind when I was crying. Daddy's hands were hard as steel when I'd done wrong. Daddy's hands were always gentle, but I've come to understand There was always love in Daddy's hands I remember Daddy's hands working till they bled Sacrificed unselfishly just to keep us all fed If I could do things over live my life again and never take for granted the love in daddy's hands daddy's hands were soft and kind when i was crying daddy's hands were hard as steel when i'd done wrong my daddy's hands were always gentle but i've come to understand there was always love Daddy's hands were soft and kind when I was crying. My daddy's hands were hard as steel when I'd done wrong. Daddy's hands were always gentle, but I've come to understand there was always love in my daddy's hands. I have so many good memories of my dear Paul, the kindest, most gentlest man that I ever saw. He was a mountain of a man, though he only stood maybe five foot six inches tall. He was a bear of a man, though he was slight in frame. He was a mountain in my eyes, for he lived a mountain of a mountain of fame. He was a prisoner of war in World War II, where the Nazis held him down for a year or two. He survived that war. He survived that Nazi camp. He came home, and he had his own camp of children, five wonderful children, all my uncles, four of them, and my beautiful mother, the last in the line. They said they're going to quit, and they got a daughter, and they got a daughter that time. Oh, my dear mother, how she loved that man, and my dear granny, I can see them now holding hand in hand, looking down on heaven, looking and smiling, saying, wow, that boy turned out pretty grand. Oh, he had some hard times to go, but man, we knew he would, looking down over the land. It's the terrain of the days these days, folks. We all got hard times. We're all dealt a hand. My pa was dealt a hand. He he handled it like any uh, any man, better than any man. Are you dealt a hand today? I know you are. But life is more than just how we play the cards. Life is a blessing, no matter which way you look at. Don't you mistook it? Don't you mistake it? Life is a blessing. It's a blessing each day. You gotta make it happen. For no other reason than to never stop. Like Paul said, you gotta pull it from the bottom to the top. Daddy's hands were soft and kind when I was crying. Daddy's hands were hard as steel when I'd done wrong. But Daddy's hands were always gentle, but I've come to understand. There was always love in Daddy's hands. I hope one day my children will look back and say, my, my dad was grand. He was a mountain of a man. He was gentle, but he was strong. He stood by his principles all day long. He taught me how to be a Christian. He taught me how to tussle. He taught me how to fight through the night, even though the, the odds were against me. How to beat the devil at his own fight. How to 
fight but not stand, had to kneel with the Bible in my hand and use the word as my sword, use the shield of faith to fend off those fiery darts, had to stare into the dark and light a candle and take it out from under the bed, put it in his face and say, in this light, I know you surely dread. If there's one thing I could leave my children with is the armor of Christ and plead the blood across all your children today and tonight. Fathers were held to a higher standard, my friends. Stop going out, stop getting drunk, stop doing drugs, stop having many girlfriends. It's a call to you, it's a challenge. I hope you take it to heart. I hope you find the courage just to start. Paul Brown, I mean my pa did. But back then men were golden in the days of olden. But my gosh, that wasn't that long ago. Those were the good old days, right? To them they weren't. To them they were days of pain and struggle and strife. But one thing I saw Paul do, that I try to do, that's hard to do, is he'd look up to the sky and say, Thank you God for your many blessings that come my way. Thank you God for the pain, the strife, and the suffering. For I, I stood up to the tests and I passed. I did it with flying colors, and I did it. I did it for my band of brothers. I did it for a nation. I did it for my wife at home, waiting for me to come home so she could bake me bread, have those five babies sleep in my bed. I pray one day my children will look back and say, my dad was a special man. I pray that technology, I'm glad that technology exists so they can have a record of this guitar in my hands. I want to leave a legacy, a lasting one, for generations to come. I want them to know that old Pop Pop is going to be my name. Oh, did I forget to mention I'm about to be a grandpa just the same. That's right. In August, I'm going to be a grandpa two times over. That's right. I get another band of little boys to bless under this four-leaf clover of a life that I've got. Oh, move on over, brother. Brother Ben, I got two little boys coming in. They're my grandchildren, and I'm ecstatic. I'm through the roof, I can hardly handle myself. I've done nothing but raise boys, three of them. I've emulated my Paul the best I can. I think he's proud of me. What do you think? I got three baby boys and two of them are having baby boys. I'm gonna sing up songs, I'm gonna pat them in their bottoms till they fall asleep. Grandpa Keeley's got a song to sing. I've got a song in my heart. I'm light as a lark. I'm light as a feather. You can have it too, brother. Just open up that leather bound book. Flip to the part that has the red words and read them really good and repeat them to yourself at night and then open your mouth and say, Father, I'm sorry for what I did. I know I sinned and you didn't want me to, but I did. But I ask you to forgive me. I repent of my sins. Say, I believe you came to this earth to die for me, me and my family. The blood you shed now covers all the land. Will you take his hand? Because he is the best father we've ever had. So on this Father's Day, of all the things that we can hope and pray, I'd like to look up to the sky and say, thank you, God, for giving me the perfect example of what a father should be. There is no finer father in all the land. You are the best. So thank you, Lord, for giving me the pain, strife, and struggling and putting me to the test. Because I know one day I'll look before you and I will kneel. And you'll say, stand up, O Keeley. You have, you've done right. You did not go silent into that good night. You stood up for what is right. You fought the good fight. And this is what I can't wait to hear you say. But well done, well done, well done, my faithful son. You want him to say that to you too, friends. You want to get in. Message me for more details. Go forth and be blessed, good people. Happy Father's Day.